In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God a Creator, and the fellowship of God's Holy Spirit be with all of you. My sisters and brothers, it is the beginning of a new year. It is the octave day of Christmas, and we begin this new year by concentrating and reflecting upon the Virgin Mary as the mother of God. As we begin this Eucharist, Mary for us is a symbol of total surrender. She is the symbol of total trust, the one who completely handed everything over to the Father. And so we begin this Eucharist with the moment of silence. And as we preserve, as we reserve this moment, we take this moment simply to place ourselves totally in the hands of our Heavenly Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the on earth is to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, <clears throat> Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. God of mercy, God of grace, show of your face shine upon us Savior shine fill your world with light divine call your saving hand extend unto earth's remotest hand let the by all that live adore. 
Let the nations shout and sing Glory to the gracious King At your feet the tribute And your holy will obey Let the people praise you Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The Word of the Lord. Sisters, brothers, the Lord be with you. This is a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying God and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Sisters and brothers, in the 1951 uh, version of A Christmas Carol, uh, there is a wonderful scene after Scrooge has his conversion. In this scene, he claps his hands and he sings this song. He sings, I don't know anything. I never did know anything. But now I know that I don't know. They say that knowledge is power. Certainly during this current pandemic, it is essential for us to gain as much knowledge as we can as we can. We try to make sure that our children receive as much knowledge as possible. 
with the hope that that knowledge will make them a success. The Word of God today gives us somewhat of a different message. It tells us that sometimes wisdom lies in knowing what you do not know. The Word calls us to look at our need to know, our need to control the future, and to surrender, to trust, to allow God's plan to unfold. Um, today, the first day of the new year, the octave day of Christmas, we celebrate the feast of Mary, the mother of God. We celebrate Mary as the perfect model of contemplation, the perfect model of surrender, the perfect model of allowing God's plan to unfold. In today's scripture, we see the Virgin Mary continuing, continuing to live the words she gave to the angel Gabriel. Let it be done unto me according to your word. In today's gospel, Jesus has been born. He has received the name Jesus, which was given him by the angel. The shepherds have come. They told Mary and Joseph of the vision of angels, of the announcement of a Messiah. The shepherds have left. And now Mary contemplates. Do you realize that throughout that story, Mary doesn't say a single word. She doesn't question the shepherds. She doesn't demand to know. She doesn't ask the shepherds to explain. She simply listens. She listens. She contemplates. And we are told that she reflected upon these things and treasured them in her heart. Mary is content with simply surrendering, not needing to know, but trusting that God's plan will unfold, that she will know what she needs to know when it's time to know it. Sisters and brothers, it is good that we begin this new year contemplating Mary, the mother of God. It is good at this time of so much anxiety so much uncertainty to place before us the image of Mary, the one who contemplates, the one who trusts and surrenders. We begin a new year uncertain as to where it will lead us, uncertain where it will take us, 
uncertain where it will lead us and where we will be. Mary teaches us to be content with what we don't know, to trust that if we allow God to make his plan unfold, good will come. We will be given what we need. And so as we contemplate today, Mary, the mother of God, we pray for the grace to follow her example. That as we struggle with so much uncertainty and fear and anxiety, to trust that God's plan will unfold and bring us into new life. And may God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so let us together now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Sisters and brothers, with absolute trust in God's will, in God's plan, in God's providence, we now pray. That the Church may effectively proclaim to the world the divinity of Christ and the special role of our Blessed Mother, we pray to the Lord. That Church leaders may be strengthened by God's grace as they face the challenges of the new year, we pray to the Lord for peace among nations and peoples, for refugees and exiles, and those separated from their families and homes, we pray to the Lord. That the prayers of the Mother of God may strengthen all mothers to follow her example of welcoming new life despite fear, doubt, and uncertainty we pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Creator, we thank you for the gift of your dear mother, the model of contemplative surrender. We beg for the grace in these difficult times to follow her example and listen to all we ask, because we ask all things. In the name of your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Magnifica, anima mea dominum, et exultavit spiritus meus, in Deo salutari meo. Qui eres maxit humilitante mancile sue, Ex hoc beata medice 
omnes generationes, quia feci mihi magna, qui potens est, et sanctum nomen eius, et misericordia eius a progenie, Progenies, dimentibus eius, fecit potentiam in brachio suo, dispertit superbos mente corvis sui, ne possu impotentes de sede, Exaltavi humiles, esurientes in plevin ponis, et divides divis in honas. Sus ebit Israel puerum sum, recordatum misericordiae sum. Locus est ad patres nostros, Abraham et semini eius in secula. Gloria patri et filio et spiritu i sancto. Sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, Et in secula seculorum. Amen. Sisters, brothers, please pray now that these our gifts will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment. Grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its contemplation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters, brothers, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ the Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaot, Pleni sub celi et terra, Gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomi, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our sisters, our brothers, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Together now let us all pray to the Father through the Spirit as Jesus our God in human flesh has taught all of us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and who reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Please offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, in faith we proclaim and we profess this is the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus, our God made visible. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of our Redemptorist community um, here at the Basilica, our pastoral staff and our pastoral council. I extend to you our wishes for a very, very happy new year. Uh, we truly pray that this new year will be better than the one that has passed. Uh, we pray this year for an end to the virus and to an end to the suffering and the death. And we pray for a better year, but like the Virgin Mary, we just surrender everything into God's arms, knowing that if the Lord leads us, it will lead us to good. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us all go now in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, Santissima.